Hello. It's Mo. I have nine, nine pairs of gloves that were sent to me all the way from the UK, which um, feels very special, really special. Um, and another thing that I think is really kind of unique is um, they were in this person's collection uh, and they decided to um, send them to me and there's something fascinating or special for lack of a better term about antique gloves it's like they've had their own life and when I put a glove on that was somebody else's. It's it's almost like I'm touching another life. <laughs> I know that sounds really corny, but there we have it. I'm a little bit corny, so um, I have not tried many of these on. I think I've tried two of them on. Um, one thing I'm noticing is because these are antiques, my hands are just the tiniest, tiniest bit big for them. Um, as we, as a human species, um, evolves, we are getting bigger. So, I can imagine the person who wore these back in the day had, you know, a little bit smaller frame than I do and all that. I also put up my Halloween decorations down here this week. I don't know about you, but I'm very excited. So I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys and switch out between different pairs of gloves. Some of them have buttons on the back and because I am um, only one person, I may not be able to button them all properly, but I'll give it my best shot. This is why you need assistance, right? But these ones, um, they feel cotton. Uh, obviously they're yellow and they're bright yellow. These would have been good for my minion um, roleplay I did last Halloween season. So like I said, I have nine pairs in front of me. It's hard to know kind of where to start, but these ones are the same style, just a different color. And I think this right now, everything that's yellow and orange, of course, reminds me of, you know, pumpkins in the fall and candy corn so I thought I'd start off with them just because that's the mood I'm in right now so 
so I'm not one to watch a lot of scary movies. I have a very impressionable brain. So if I start watching a lot of scary movies, um, you know, I can tell my dreams are more disruptive and scary and my overall mood is darker. So, but every once in a while, it's fun. And there are several classic Halloween movies I've still never seen. So, I want to hear, um, please comment down below what your favorite Halloween movie is, or scary movie. I guess it doesn't have to be, you know, Halloween exactly. So I'm gonna just kind of try on these gloves and kind of talk to you guys. Um, so let me, let me see what kind of Halloween. When I was in high school, middle school, young, I was young, um, we watched, we rented, this is back in the day, where you actually had to go to a store, Hastings, Blockbuster, even Safeway, like the grocery store had like a little section, and, um, these feel almost a little bit bigger, actually. These fit perfectly. Um, and you would pick out a movie to watch, right? And then you take it home, VHS. <laughs> I'm so old. <laughs> um, anyways, so, uh, a group of friends. We picked out Jeepers Creepers. came out, I was young, but, um, anyways, that one, I was so unbelievably disturbed by afterwards, um, when my friends left, I couldn't turn off the light <laughs> that night, I had to sleep with the light on, and my window shade was down, cause I didn't even want to, you know, look up and see like a face in the window, right? These gloves are definitely gonna have to be a part of some Halloween thing, don't you think? Just wear a shirt with a jack-o'-lantern on it and be a pumpkin. Just for walking around. It's hard to come up with a role play being a pumpkin, but I do like a challenge every once in a while. Okay, so Jeepers Creepers. Then we have all the Scream movies, which I admit I've only seen clips of. I've never actually sat down and watched scream any of them i think i watched maybe the first or second of um i know what you did last summer does that sound right i'm really bad with the uh, horror movies sorry guys These gloves, what I do like about this is there's three little lines and it should say that they must actually they are different because this one doesn't. So I like that. It's just a little bit of something extra. I don't know why I like those, but I, I definitely do. It adds a little bit more of a flair, a little fancy vibe. Anyway, so let's see what else. 
Um, then you have the Kruger, Freddy Kruger series. Now, I can imagine the out uproar of people who will maybe react to this comment, but I cannot remember for the life of me if he's the one that shows up in your dreams or if that's somebody else. He is though. I think that's the one with um Johnny Depp. He shows up in your dreams and he like kills you or something. I'm so bad at this. I need your guys' help. Clearly, comment, comment, comment which ones I have to watch. Um, as you probably know if you follow my Instagram, I'm a pretty busy girl, but I will make a list and what you put on it, I will make a list and if I can find it online for free, I will watch it. It might not be, you know, the next month, but I will make sure I watch it this year. Okay, this year. I will do that. Okay, so this one has... little buttons and that might um I might not be able to get them buttoned by myself so we'll see but oh. <laughs> these match my background <laughs> Elbow length. And my dear Andy, who is the benefactor, so to speak, the giver of these gloves, he had a term for this material and for the life of me I can't remember what it was called oh, but it makes glorious noise and if you were to use this on your skin all over it would feel like you're getting dry brushed everything would be exfoliated and you'd have fresh, new skin underneath. So kind of a perk, I guess, of wearing new gloves, maybe. I don't know if that's a perk or not, but I find it amusing either way. Let's see, let's see if I can do this. Anybody want to bet if I can or not? Because now I put gloves on. Oh, I got one. Oh, no, it popped right back. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. I'm just going to leave it. So. So. I just need a beautiful gold ball gown to go with. I'm totally kidding. I wouldn't know where to wear that. So as we're moving into the Halloween season, we've got movies. I can't remember the last time I've seen a scary movie, honestly. I'm trying to think of it, but I can't. I do like watching, um, British, uh, like, murder mystery TV shows. One, because accents. I absolutely love the British accent, so 
There's that. But somehow, murder mystery series don't come across to me as horror, and so I can watch it without being scared. Ladies, we on sound. I feel like I could make a whole video just with the, these gloves and the way they sound. I can absolutely do that too if you guys want. Just let me know. One hand isn't too bad, right? Okay, so these ones, I'm not sure what they are. They don't feel like cotton, really. Maybe some spandex, polyester blend of some sort. But I like how they are polka dot, maybe a specific type of animal print that I am just not aware of, but uh, they kind of have a gold, dark gold kind of vibe. Um, I have no idea why, but I thought of drawing Spawn, like Goldfinger, when she's all painted gold. You know, I heard sometime, somewhere, that uh, that ended up killing the actress. I don't know if that's true or not. That the paint that they put on her body didn't allow her pores to, like, breathe. And uh, she ended up 
dying or something? I don't know. Maybe the paint itself is toxic. I don't, I don't remember. I'm wondering if that's true now or if that was one of those just rumors that get started and everybody just circulates it. What a horrible way to go, though. Isn't it? Not like there's a lot of good ways of going, but... You know, all those horror movies, that's one thing that they have in common. People die in some of the most horrendous ways. Ooh. Oh, Chainsaw Massacre. That's another famous one. I still haven't seen it. I think I just don't like horror horror. I don't mind like suspense. For example, there's a movie, um, probably doesn't feel suspenseful now, but when I was younger, What Lies Beneath, Michelle Pfeiffer. Ooh, who was the other person in that? Someone famous, but I can't remember who the uh, male ingenue was. Anyways. I want to say it was Kevin Costner, but that doesn't quite sound right. I don't know. Oh, that's gonna bug me. Bruce Willis. I don't know, one of those guys. Anyways, the, uh, that got me. But I liked it and I could go to sleep afterwards. It was suspenseful, made me jump a few times. Was definitely, like, in the movie, but I didn't have nightmares. I could go to sleep. I didn't have to leave my light on. <laughs> I'm a wuss. move along. I'm going pretty slowly, I guess. Maybe we don't have to do all of them, but I do want to show my leather friends these. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, so these are leather, and they're such, such thin leather, and it does say made in Italy. <laughs> that, um, I actually can use my cell phone when I wear these, which is probably one of the very few gloves that I can do that with. So that's super exciting for me. It does take a while for me to get into them because I have slightly larger hands. I think I'll just probably put the one on for time's sake. And then there's the little buttons again. I'm not sure if I will button those up or not. 
probably not because I need someone to help me. I did have help, um, and so I know they do button up on me. It's just a struggle for me to do one-handed. But aren't they just beautiful? So thin, paper thin almost, and so soft. You can tell that these have been, you know, worn down. They're not stiff at all. So pliable. And they're white, and they still look white. I mean, that's surprising me. You've got the three lines down the back, which I just love. I'll do this. I'll put my other one. So this one, I'm going to put on with this. They look very similar. They have three buttons. But this one's more cotton, I believe. Maybe a, a blend, but it feels cotton to me. Um, let me undo these buttons so I can get in. Ooh, I can. Yes. Okay. So, the leather is on my left, and the cotton's on my right. But they're very similar. feel very regal to me. Like I really can see somebody back in the day, you know, British tea <laughs> or, you know, just some sort of party back in the day where you got dressed up in, in your best. You know, like Bridgerton vibes. These feel perfectly snug. Sometimes with these long gloves, they kind of fall down. These really feel like they are going to stay there. Which is just nice. Definitely gonna be using these for well, I don't know what, but something. Maybe you guys will have ideas for me. They just feel very prim and proper. Okay, so another one. Just can't believe how thin this is. It's 
just, I don't know, mind blowing to me. Okay. So, then these ones have kind of a, a very light pink shimmer to them. They might show up champagne on film, but in person they're just, just the lightest, lightest touch of pink. And these ones are kind of on the small side. But they give, so. So they end up being perfect, because they'll stay. My only thing is I think I have a, a long, um, what's the right word? A deep digit? I don't know. That tends to be the part that I notice the most, that pinky. So, then you have these satin light blush gloves. I think I'm going to have to do another satin pillow video down the road, it's been a while. And they always just, I think, make some of the best relaxing noises out there. Just like the ocean. a sad nose. It's slippery. Okay. So I just have two more of these antique gloves to share with you. One of them is very similar to um, the gold one we saw before. However, it doesn't come up quite as long and it doesn't have the three buttons. And then as an additional thing, it's got this bunched fabric here to kind of pucker it and make it look cute. And then this last one is probably the most unique um, glove I've, I've seen really. Uh, it's, well, you can see the pattern. And, um, it's a hoot. I don't even know how else to... What else to say? It's just entertaining. This one does feel a little bit more fragile, though. I have to say, um, out of all of them, this one feels like it could be, um... 
I don't want to say destroyed, but it ruined quicker. So, it just feels very fragile. But you can definitely tell that somebody else had worn this. There's definitely some wear and tear. And it just makes me want to know who was like, these are my gloves. These are the gloves I want. Right here. the rest of the outfit match like I want to know it's just so unique and the seams are different too you can you can see there's very four distinct seams instead of the normal like one around the fingers and it creates kind of almost a boxy look So, very unique, at least to me. Makes a different kind of fluttering sound with those seams. Shout out to Andy. Thank you. This is just incredible. Just incredible. And if you've made it this far, please comment below what is your favorite Halloween movie. I want to know. I really do. I want to know. And, uh, to make this list. You guys are going to give me homework. <laughs>